So one of my favorite shrubs in the Sonoran Desert is this one behind me and it's called creosote bush and it's also one of the most abundant shrubs in certain areas of the Sonoran Desert. I'm going to do a little spin and you can see that all of these shrubs that have yellow flowers they're all creosote bushes and again it's one of the most abundant shrubs on campus. Now it's got a bunch of survival strategies up its sleeve. First, it is definitely drought resisting. In the hot, dry months, it can still photosynthesize, but it's also got some degree of drought deciduousness. In other words, it will drop its leaves when it gets very hot and dry, some of its leaves. If you feel the leaves, you'll feel that they're very sticky. You can rub them between your finger and it feels like, or smells like, sorry, the desert after it's rained, but if the leaves feel very, very sticky. And that stickiness is a bunch of resins in the leaves and those resins help to waterproof the leaves. And as the months get warmer and drier, the new leaves that it puts on tend to be a little smaller than the old leaves that it grew in maybe the winter and spring months when it was wetter and cooler. And that way it has varying degrees of being microphyllous. So in the hot dry months, it makes even smaller leaves to reduce um, water loss through the leaves. Now, the other adaptation this plant has, you can't actually see because it's below ground. Now, if you look at the size of the plant above ground, it's got a root system about the same size and just as extensive below ground. So it can exploit a very large volume of soil for the limited amount of moisture that's in the soil. An amazing, awesome plant. Ooh, and here's one little tidbit about the plant is Native Americans use this to help fight um, infections. So, and we've researched that and we found in the leaves, there's a compound called, it's a bit of a tongue twister, nordihydroguyuretic acid, and that's got quite potent antimicrobial properties, stops the growth of fungi, bacteria, and even some viruses. Again, it's a really cool, remarkable plant.